Hello viewers, hope you're doing well. Today in this video, I'm going to create an API to get the users in Spring Boot and Angular. So let's get started. You can see here the Spring Boot application. Let's go to services package and here I'm going to create a new sub package with the name admin. Let me create the interface inside the admin package that is a admin service. After this, I'm going to create the class that is an admin service impl. Let me implement the class with admin interface. On the top, I'm going to add the notation that is an at the rate service. And the second notation I'm going to add here that is a at the rate required ERGS constructor. Let me inject here the user repository. Let's go to admin service and here I'm going to create a method and the return type of this method that is a list of a user DTO. Let me import the list from the java.util. Let's go to admin service impl and here I'm going to implement this method that is a get user. So inside the get user method, I'm going to call here the user repository and the method that is a find all. And it will be a stream dot filter inside the banana brackets i'm going to write here the logic to get the user by the user role so let me create the variable that is a user and here i'm going to get the user role so it will be a user dot get user role and we need to compare the user role with user role dot employee and after this i'm going to add here the method that is the map first we need to pass here the user entity and second we need to call the method from the user entity that is a get user dto and it will be a collect that is a collector's dot to list. So this is the functionality of the get users method inside the admin service impl. Let's go to controllers package and here I'm going to create a new package with the name admin. And here inside the admin package, I'm going to create a new class with the name admin controller. On the top, I'm going to add here the notation that is a at the rate rest controller. Second notation, I'm going to add here that is a at the rate required ARGS constructor. And the third notation, I'm going to add here that is a at the rate request mapping. Let me define here the URL of the controller that is a slash API slash admin. Inside the admin controller, I'm going to inject here the admin service. So here I'm going to create a method to call the method from the admin service that is a get users. So let me add here the response entity and name of the method that is a get users. So it will be a response entity dot object and inside the body we need to call a method from the admin service that is a get users and it will be a return. On the top, I'm going to add a notation to access this endpoint that is at the rate get mapping and the path of this endpoint that is a slash users. Let me run the Spring Boot application and call this endpoint from the postman. You can see here the URL of the get users endpoint and the mapping that is a get. Let's go to authorization tab. Let me select here the barrier token from the drop down. And here I'm going to add the token of the logged in admin. You can see application started. Let's go to UI and let me log in here the admin. Let me copy the token from here. Let's add here inside the barrier token. Let's click on the send button. And you can see here the status of the API that we are getting 200 OK with the response where we are getting all the users from the DB with the user role employee. You can see here. Let's go to Angular application and call this endpoint. You can see here the admin modules. So, first of all, I'm going to create here the new component that is a post task. So, let me open here the integrated terminal. Command is ng g for generate c for component and name of the component that is a post hyphen task. Let's hit enter. And you can see here component created successfully. Let's go to admin routing module.ts. Let me duplicate this line. And here I'm going to add the path for the post task component that is a task. And here I'm going to load the component that is a post task component. 
let's go to app component.html and you can see here the nav bar for the admin let me add here the new button after the dashboard with the name post task and let me add here the router link for the host task component that is a slash admin slash task let's go to ui and you can see here the new nav link with the caption post task let me click on this nav link and you can see here it's navigating us to the post task component after this let's go to admin module.ts and here i'm going to inject the reactive form module http client module and the forms module second we have reactive form module third we have http client module and the last we have angular material imports file let's go to admin service and here i'm going to inject the http client in the constructor On the top, I'm going to add it the base URL of the Spring Boot application. You can see here the base URL of our Spring Boot application. Inside the admin service, I'm going to create a method to call the endpoint from the Spring Boot. So the method is get users. Let me add here the observables. That is the type of any and here I'm going to call the HTTP client and the method that is a get. First, we need to pass here the base URL and second, I'm going to add here the URL of our get user endpoint. So it will be a slash API slash admin slash users. And after this, I'm going to set here the token in the headers. So let me add here the method that is a create authorization header. You can see here the method. Let me import the HTTP headers and the storage service in this method we are calling a method from the storage service that is a get token where we are getting the token from the local storage of the browser and it will return the complete set of the token with the key authorization and the value with barrier space and the token so let me add here the headers and here we need to call this method that is a create authorization header and it will be a return let's go to post task component let me add here the constructor where I'm going to inject the admin service. After that, I'm going to create a method that is a get users. Inside this method, I'm going to call here the admin service and the method that is a get users. Let's subscribe this. And I'm going to save the response of the API into this variable that is a res. And here I'm going to add the console.log to print the result into the console. So we need to invoke this method. So let me copy the method name and inside the curly braces of the constructor, I'm going to invoke this method. Before calling the API in Angular, let's go to Spring Boot application. And on the top, I'm going to add here the annotation that is at the rate cross origin. And inside the quotes, I'm going to add here the steric. Let me rerun the Spring Boot application. And you can see application started. Let's go to UI. Let me refresh the post task component. And you can see here the console where we are getting the list of the employees from the DB in the response of the API. Let me refresh the component again. And you can see here the response of the API. Let's go to network tab. You can see here the status code of the API that is a 200 okay. And you can see here the response that we are getting. So that's all for now from my side. If you have any confusion, you can document. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.